Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. I am going to do the VR to Kelly Bear. I just freaking love saying Kelly Bear. I could say Kelly Bear all night. <laughs> freaking love that name. Um, it is hashtag 54321 tarot. It is to pick five tarot decks. It is to pick four books, three spreads, two tarot habits, advice, or a card that I embody. This video is going to be really freaking cool quick because I don't think I have really have that much to share so let's see how we go now if you've been following me for a while you will know for sure that I'm decluttering my decks I'm really really I've got rid of heaps I've just mailed out three more decks today to people um, I'm finding that it's helping me have more clarity to my gift so let's get into the decks that I have selected and why First deck is the Blooming Cat Tarot. If you've seen me go live, you would have seen me utilize this a lot. It is from the Right Away Snip um, Pictures. I like this deck. I'm really finding the more that I'm reading, the more that I'm, I'm realizing I like smaller decks. I like them. I've really only dug deep with tarot probably the last year. Prior to that, it was just reading intuitively. I wasn't really using cards. I was sort of pulling them out. But I am really learnt so much about tarot and the many layers of tarot, especially card combinations. Now, this deck, I love the size of it. I like the high gloss. Normally, I'm not a big fan of high gloss. I like it. I like that the pictures, I feel that they tell a story. You can just see straight away the meaning of the card, like the Ace of Pentacles. This deck also comes with, there's the moon card. It also comes with additional cards. And I would really like to work with these a little bit more. Talking about the star signs, the major. So for instance, the Libra, the major arcana tarot card is justice. I would really like to dig deeper, getting, I guess you can say personifying a card and helping my readings go deeper that's my next stage i'm working a lot with card combinations right now but i really like this deck i'm a big one for little white books if you oops, if you don't already know huge fan i don't like reading a lot i don't like reading deep i don't like knowing too much and i just feel like to me a few words is enough for me then to utilize and open up my intuition and work out the card and the card meaning so that is the first one. The second deck is, uh, I don't know, it got, a mixed, it got mixed reviews, is the Curious, and this is Mass Market. This is the Kickstarter. I've got rid of, um, as I said, a lot of my decks. So I'm just using what I utilize, what I'm using at the moment. I probably do about, I don't know, 10 to 20 live readings a day. So this is by Chris Ann. I like it. I didn't think I'd like it, and I really love this deck. I think it's fantastic, the readings that I get. I like working with the book. I find it fun um, because when you go live, people like to see the cards. They're fun. They're vibrant. I also like the fact that the card itself comes outside of the boundary here. I just had to plug my phone in. So... Yeah, great fun deck. I like it. I, I, I feel that um, it's a deck that I think I'll always keep in my collection for now. And this is the booklet to it. I've done a review on this, so you can see the booklet. I really like, again, as I said, I love when they just have keywords. I feel that really helps me with my reading. So that's deck two. Deck three is another mass market deck. I really love this deck because I'm learning about Sufi. So it is, oh, I didn't even show you the box. It is the Sufi Tarot deck. I have had some beautiful readings with this deck. The pictures are just absolutely stunning, but the booklet is really letting me know and learn another layer of tarot that I probably wouldn't have considered. So I really like learning culturally. I, I, I 
enjoy this deck i really enjoy this deck the pictures are just beautiful the artistry is beautiful whoever designed this deck did such an amazing job it's of high quality i think so that is the sufi tarot that is number three number four is a mass market deck that i bought second hand so it is in the group that i sell my decks with it's the australian facebook group tarot I might put the link in the description box if you're in australia this is i like this deck again it is the right away smith pictures and for me that's really helping me how can you say absorb the tarot message more i find it very helpful also too big fan again with the, the little white book you know i like the way it just says the keywords i like the way it's got reversed so i find that that great so we've got one two three four now we're up to number five this is a bit a bit of a different one um this deck, I think it cost me all of $7. So, I haven't used it for a while. I should pull it out again. It's the Tarot Cards by Elevate. So, we'll stick this in the front. The reason why I like this deck, you don't need the guidebook because what they provide is actually printed on the card. So, it's a bit like a pip deck, you could say. So, for instance, Five of Pentacles, Delays Around Money, Coming In From The Cold. But what I love about this deck is it personifies the knights. So you've got Knight of Pentacles, a young man, 25. And that's something that I really want to learn more about is personifying the deck, able to tell people perhaps the person's star sign that they've got issues with or a relationship with or who's coming to them so or who's around them that's something that i would really love to do as a tarot reader because that's something that really stuck in my mind having a tarot reading when i was about 19. the lady she's passed over now she was amazing she used to write for an australian woman's weekly here and she actually told me the star sign of my husband who i hadn't met at the time the star signs of my two kids where i would live an amazing amazing reader and i really hope to be of that quality one day to be able to do that for somebody else and for them to reflect 20 years later about having this psychic reading with somebody who was able to do that so very very basic but awesome readings awesome awesome readings with this deck so that is my five tarot decks now the books i had huge issues with the books because I don't really read about tarot. I, I, to be honest, I find it a bit boring. <laughs> I've got a few tarot books, but I'm not here to show them off. Like, look at this. I've got the, the underline here and everything. But, yeah, you know, like, I don't know. I've got this. I don't think I've ever done. I think I have never done a tarot spread since I've begun to understand tarot. So I should dust this book off. So that's book two but i really wanted to share with you a book that is with the tarot deck the guardian of the night tarot this is a really really great book it's very poetic the way it speaks about each card i love it you know i, I found that i learned more i learned more about the card um for instance the hermit like just going to go down a bit the image of a spider weaving a web that not only protects but also provides nourishment came right to mind as my daughter and i like so many others found ourselves stocking up and essentially nesting this is obviously during covid tapping into the energy of the hermit helped me find the opportunities for wisdom being on lockdown offered time spent indoors and not socializing made way for new ideas to flourish and the time to work on them the hermit asks that you seek solitude find that quiet space that welcomes insight so I find that I know we're supposed to be talking about tarot books, but I really wanted to touch on some guidebooks. Really love that guidebook. I really love, as I said, the Sufi guidebook because it talks about cultural, you know, and I think as a reader, you have to have a really open mind and, and be constantly learning and growing. Now, this is something new to my collection. Um, this guidebook, I'm blown away. There's a few things. I haven't done a review for this deck yet, but one thing that i really love about this book it discusses the card itself 
but it also speaks about card combinations. Now, that's a biggie for me because I love working with two or three cards. I love working with card combinations. So, yes. So, let's just see. Justice, for instance. So, it says here, Justice, paired with the High Priestess, there is someone in your life that has an advice and information you need to help. You make an important decision. So, I like it. And it's interesting because... I didn't tell my daughter, but when she was sitting with me the other night, I thought, oh, new deck, I'll pull a few cards. And I pulled the Hermit. And we'll go to the Hermit. So it's a beautiful deck. And it said here with the Hermit, and she, and I, the other card that was pulled with it was the... Um, okay, so... I had the Queen of Swords with her, um, with the Hermit, and it says here, a time of intellectual study or exploration may have you seeking solitude. So it was interesting because about one or two hours later, she had an issue with somebody. So that was an interesting one. So I, I found that I really like this, this book because I like the card combination. So that is my four books. Not very exciting there, but I also want to add up here on the screen. I've actually got rid of this deck. This is the Art of Adventure Tarot, and I really wanted to include this because this booklet here that went with this deck really got me into tarot so much because I had my house on the market, so I really only had two decks out. And this was one of the decks, and this is where I really began to appreciate tarot and knowing the accuracy and the depths that you can get from reading. So that's another book that I wanted to enjoy that in, add in there. Now, three spreads. This is hard for me because I'm not a spread person. I'm a one card wonder. <laughs> so I really am. I, I'm, you know, so I just shuffle and I pick a card, I sit with it and intuitively I get what I need to know. But also as well, when I go live and do readings for others and also myself, I pull three cards. Now, I don't utilize these cards as past, present, future. I utilize them as how are they working all together? How are they working combined? So that is one spread that I do. I told you it's not going to be very interesting. Now, another thing that I really, I saw another reader do this, and I have done this a few times, is you pull a card so that's about the situation then you so this is more for a romance reading i guess you can say whoops and then you pull three cards on one side for that person and then three cards on that side for that person oh dear <laughs> so that is i guess i don't i told you my spreads aren't very interesting i just feel like i, I like to keep things very basic i feel like too many cards too much for my brain so that's it now two tarot habits that i have let me put all these away is when i get a new deck i will grab all the cards out they're obviously all in order so i'll have all the majors the wands the cups the swords i would get all of the majors out i would lay all the majors down and then i would then put another card on top and move keep going and keep going and keep going until i've done the whole deck and then i pull so then you end up with 21 piles obviously not you know like all the cards and then i put away pile number 21 i put that on pile one and then i start all over again putting the cards all on top of each other let me just show you, shall I? I don't know why I started doing this. I have no idea why. So what I do is I lay all the majors out. I should have picked a smaller deck, especially in this small workspace, trying to show you what I'm, what I'm doing. But we'll see if this will fit. So I put all cards. Might just have to work. You'll get the drift anyway. So I do that all to 21. We can only fit temperance on there. So I do that to the world. Then I'll put the cups on top of each pile. Oh gosh, you guys can understand this. I hope you can. So they're not really like, I don't do this. Normally I do this on the floor. So And then I keep going and I keep continuing until I have the whole deck done. So 
and everything here. So I can just pick up the last pile. I put it on the first pile. And you know what's going to happen here, don't you? Then I pick up the second last pile. I told you it's not going to all fit. Put that on top. And I put that on there. So I keep doing that until we're finished. So you guys get the drift. So that's what I do when I have when I get a new deck. I should have showed it with a smaller deck. I really should have. So let's put all this away. I just feel like that just just shuffles them up. It lets me look at them. And then what I do is I look through the deck itself. Keep going. So I, I look at the High Priestess and then if that's another major, I put that in a different pile. And then I four of wands and I just keep going. And I never like to have... And then I might slip this one in here. I never like to have the same suits. I don't know why I started doing this, but it's just something I like to do. I just feel like it really shuffles the cards up well. So there's a couple of swords, so I'll put them out. There's a few swords. And then I'll put the wands and I go over them. And I'll go with pentacles. So yeah, that's how I really shuffle I guess shuffle the deck and start the deck. I just feel like it gets all my energy on them. It allows me to look at the cards. And then I just read. I go straight away. I'll click the live button. I'll go live straight away. And, you know, I don't look at the deck um, as well as probably other people do. I don't look at everything and go, oh, wow, look at this. You know, like I like to just read with the deck and see what comes. And then, you know, I may notice, for instance, this bird here as I'm reading. So I'm more of a doer, I guess, and it comes back down to learning style. As I said, I'm not a big one for learning about the history or what's going on with tarot. Or So you can really see it's a messy, but it's a, it's something that I enjoy. That's the way I do it. So that's one habit. And another habit that I do is, as I said, I do a lot of live readings. And because, you know, you're doing them quick and, and, and miniature and short, if I'm reading and just say, for instance, I read you, you, Joe Blow, and your card's the Eight of Swords, Page of Swords, and High Priestess, and then, you know, I, I finish, I complete that, and I shuffle again, and for the next person, it may end up with two of the cards. I will skip that, and I will reshuffle and work with some new cards. I just do that because I feel like I'm live, I'm not shuffling enough and I, I just, and it sort of allows me to refresh and allow me to start with a new fresh cards. I have noticed someone, can I add what someone's done maybe? I really loved how someone chose their reading, their three card reading. Um, I might share that in a minute. Someone said they knocked the cards. Yeah, I do that as well. Love the knock knock. Who else loves the knock knock? Somebody said when they do their reading, they pull a card. So this is the High Priestess, number two. And then they'll pull the second card for that card. And then they will pull the eighth card for that one. For the, for the, and I thought that was really good. So I wanted to share that. I'm going to do that from now on. I really like, so I'm, I'll have to put the link in the video of that one in the description box. I really like them sharing that. So I've been really enjoying watching the, this tag so that is my tarot habits the advice I really want to share is do what you want don't worry about anybody else read how you want you can never be wrong when you're following what you want to do because tarot is a unique skill we are all unique we've all walked on this path very differently and I really feel that everyone's got their own way you won't read for somebody and they're either going to love you or hate you and never change, you know, because you'll find what works for you. And yeah, that's just what I wanted to share. Everyone's got their own way. Do what you want. That's that's my advice. Just follow your own. Follow your own. Now, one card that embodies me is I feel like the star card. I feel like I'm sort of I'm 
it will i'm trying to embody the hope i call this the hope and faith card you know i'm trying to trust in myself i'm trying to manifest in myself i'm trying to listen to my intuition and i just feel like i'm inspired at the moment being able to um i don't know i think because i'm over 50 and i feel like i'm coming into a new season so yeah so with this card it says inspiration faith hope and miracles and i really hope to embrace the miracles so that is my video i hope you enjoyed it i will link the beautiful man who i who i saw do that beautiful shuffle or his his um spread now so until next time hope you enjoy this follow others and play along i really love to see other people's videos as well